Hi Gretchen, so in this video we are going to do analysis of transaction which you also know it as a accounting equation. So please make sure that you watch until the end so that you will understand all the principle that we are going to do. Okay, so this question paper was written on 2020. Uh, it was a common test which was written on March. All right, so make sure that you also check the other one for 2019, 2021, 2022, as well as 2023 and other questions so that you can gain more principles and understanding the different examples. Okay, so let's start with our uh, transactions. Analysis of transaction, you are provided with the information uh, relating to mass traders, a business owned by Savelo Pakati for the month of February 2022. Required. Analyze the following transaction according to the columns provided. Assume that the bank balance is favorable all the time. Okay, then they give us example. Uh, bought a stationary on account from Sukela traders by 500. Okay, then they indicate a general ledger. Account debited is stationary. Account credited is creditors control. Then amount is 500. Then you also have to make sure that you indicate under accounting equation whether assets, owner's equity or liability has been affected. Okay. So, number one. Our supplier, Masiela Trader, uh, charged the business an interest of 12% per annum on an overdue account of 12,000 for 12 for two months okay then provide the outstanding interest okay now uh, our supplier charges in interest because we were not paying okay interest is 12 percent per annum and we've been charged for two months which means that firstly before we go to our record we have to make sure that we show a calculations okay the, our account is 12,000 and the interest they said is 12%. Okay. But remember, uh, they said it's for only two months. Okay. Which means that after we got answer here, we have to divide by, by 12. Okay. So if you divide by 12, you are going to get amount of 120. And because they said two months, this 120 is for one month you have to multiply it by two and you get 240 for two months so that's how you should show the calculation the reason to divide by 12 first is because our year have 12 months because this they said this 12 percent is for per year then we divide by 12 and we get monthly of 120 and we multiply by two because they said is due for two months okay which means that our amount now we know that is 240. Okay, so which account are we going to record? Number one is interest on overdue. Interest on overdue and creditors control because our supplier we record them under creditors control. Okay, then uh, account affected interest is an expense which means that our owner's equity is going to be minus and creditors control is liability is going to be a plus because liability increase on the credit side you have to make sure that you know this principle guys okay so this is how you should answer this and there's a uh, five marks for free for this there's a mark here, mark here, mark here, mark here, and mark here. So please make sure that you know this because it's very simple. Number two, goods sold on credit to Angel Sabangu for 6,000 selling price. The markup on cost is 50%. Okay, and make two entries. Let's go to number two now. Number two, they said a good sold on credit. Uh, by a selling price of 6,000. Let's start by a selling price one. Okay. Because it has been sold on credit, which means that we're going to have a debtor's control. 
the trust control is going to increase because it's an asset okay and the other one that we have to record is sales sales is income is coming this side which means that okay the amount is six thousand and our sales is equity is going to be plus and our data control is asset is going to be plus very simple okay then now we have to go to a cost price okay then uh, a cost price they said is 50 percent which means that we have to show a calculations so it's going to be six thousand and we punch a markup of 100 over 150 and it's gonna give us four thousand then then this is the cost price we will purchase it by four thousand and we are selling it by six thousand all right how are we going to record this okay the amount is going to be like this but then this side now we have to record that inventory goes out of our assets inventory inventory goes out of our business and we indicate that this was cost of sales very simple which means that our inventory is going to be minus cost of sales is going to be minus and unchanged minus inventory because it's here on the credit side minus cost of sales because it's an expense on the debit side very simple okay then number three the owner took merchandise for his personal use which is 800 all right number three personal use is drawings drawings is equity which is going to be reduced by debit side okay he took what merchandise is like a trading inventory trading inventory and the inventory is the same trading stock and trading and inventory is the same okay so he took it which means that it's no longer here on assets it's minus it's minus it's minus okay then amount is 800 straightforward uh, transaction guys all right before we go to the last one guys please please make sure that you support us by subscribing by liking this video and also share with friends who are doing a uh, grade 10 so that they can also learn up to grade 12 all right and also guys please make sure that you support us by buying a study guide the advantage of this study guide guys is is that you are going to be able to have, have all questions that we are doing on youtube and more other questions that are not here on youtube as well as the solutions of those questions so we are also going to add you into a whatsapp group so for those who purchase a study guide we are going to add you into a whatsapp group so that if you have any questions that is related to accounting for grade 10 we are just going to help you immediately on whatsapp so that it can be easy for you to study all right now let's proceed the last one the fixed deposit of 20,000 with Mashanga bank has matured the bank deposited into the business bank account is 22,500 including interest all right so in this case uh, they didn't mention that we, we have to make a uh, two entries which means that we're just gonna make one entry number four okay amount which we deposited it was twenty thousand but now it has matured we invested twenty twenty thousand now is coming back as twenty two thousand with interest okay which means that we receive money our bank is an asset and we receive on the debit side okay then fixed deposit is matured which means that we have to credit it fixed deposit in this case we're going to record 22,500 and the sign is going to be plus minus because all of them guys fixed deposit fall under non-current assets which means that it's an asset so i hope you learned something don't forget guys to go and check the other previous uh, papers 2021 2019 2022 and 2023 and other question paper i'm gonna see you on the next one goodbye